Hello everyone. Today we will write a simple blinking or color changing a rectangle using toga. So the first thing we will do is we will import toga. And let's try the basic structure. So we have a, need a class, maybe call it my app. And we will derive it from the app, toga app class. And then we need start up and keep it self. So pass. Let's feel, keep on filling it later. And then we will create an instance, right? With we need we need to pass. Well, so we are going to pass first of all. Uh, we will we will pass the a name. Maybe it's a I blank, and we also will pass an ID. So my some kind of an ID right at the moment, and we'll create pass do the main loop on that so if you run that so it's okay it is not finding the icon for the for the window which is fine at the moment uh, so now let's fill it up right so first thing we can do is we can create a main window right on self main window equal to toga dot main window and so we'll pass the title equal to maybe blank right and we can also pass size equal to uh, maybe 250 comma 250 and um, so now uh, say self dot main dot show right So we already have the window so they give us a lot you know without with, with the simple thing and you know, we have all the stuff so now we have to fill in so let's create we want to draw something like a rectangle or square and uh, so we let us pass create a canvas to do that so self dot canvas equal to toga dot canvas and for the canvas uh, we will we need to style it style basically we have to pack it properly so I need uh, pack from toga dot style import pack okay so we can say pack and we will pack with the flex equal to one so that the canvas can take the horizontal full space available so and in toga everything is in the form of a box the layout is a box layout so we'll create a box toga dot box like you do it in html so we have box and then i can arrange my item another box put item together in a nice layout so stoga box what will be in the box uh, we can put a children for example here uh, we'll pass in our self dot canvas right that is one item at the moment we want and we also add our box to main window dot content equal to self dot box so we did that so now we already have created a canvas so we need to draw something on the canvas so the rectangle so maybe draw a rectangle for example on cell let's create a function so we create a context manager with the canvas with the self dot canvas dot we say we call the fill and color so now i need we'll use the rgb colors from toga colors import rgb right 
so this okay i can put rgb and i can pass in maybe 100 200 200 or maybe 100 uh, and you could put whatever the color you like uh, and uh, so that is a color and send as maybe context for example so this is our context manager so now on the context we have the method available which is a rectangle and first coordinates are the, the the top left corner for example 10 and 10 we can put it and maybe 230 or 240 this is the width 230 230 so it and so it's a square right <laughs> so now we already so we have to call this if you want to see it so i can say self dot draw rectangle oh my god we have a beautiful square so now that is not the thing that we were talking so we need to somehow make change, change the you have to make it blink so for that for that one of the things we would like to do is maybe say change the color maybe we can choose some random colors right i can say from random import rand int and say rg comma b go to rand int say one to say 250 or something like that and then i can I can do that like that and then maybe I put it here B this is G and this is R and then I, I would want to do something like I would love to do something like you know this right keep calling that back like in T kinder you use the after you know so this is but this is like we are going as a recursion but this will block the main GUI because we'll get stuck in that, that place, you know. So, so now, uh, in order to avoid that, there is we can also use the background add self. This one we can put inside self dot add background task, and we can put inside that. That will keep we can do uh, some callable or a generator. Uh, uh, and that can keep running without blocking the GUI and now here when it's used it will also ask you for one more argument the RG argument we can pass a widget so now I can put I can rather than keep calling use again use that self dot add background task and then right so now again uh again this uh, this is not releasing the so this is again uh doing the same thing so we uh, we need to somehow release find a way for the so that it can redraw the gui for us without blocking the gui so we will put a yield so the way they coded this is that whenever it encounters the yield say maybe point two uh, when now it's a, like a generator function and when, whenever it encounters the yield it can go and quickly quickly uh, redraw the gui so the gui won't be blocked during this process also so one of the things who immediately can come in how these lines will be ignored right not really so when you do a generator i'll say to the next so i get point two so only we have one point two there there is no loop or anything so next if you do again next on the draw rectangle so we will get a, a stop iteration error but these all will be executed so this again will be executed in that process we also execute this so we have another round of change in color so let's see all my uh, ideas are oh my god so we have a blinking uh, blinking uh, rectangle so this is the idea so how we can write a very simple uh, animation using toga 
and uh, toga can be you know you can deliver it on on uh, it is uh, you on your phone your you know uh, on different platforms on your android or on, or on your ios devices as well thank you very much for watching